third kind of force. Again, it's a contact force. We have seen field force, which is a gravitational force, which acts from the distance. Contact force is the one which acts when the molecules, when the surfaces comes in contact. Gravitational force is a field force. Normal reaction is a contact force. Tension, the third kind of force we are going to see is again a, a contact force. Tension in physics means force. Suppose there's a string kept like this. It is attached to the wall and it is in slack position. If we come and we stretch this string, the string becomes taut, straight. We are stretching this string and the string becomes taut. We see that, that there is some tension developed in the string. Tension because of little elongation of the string and the string tries to come back to its relaxed, unstressed condition. And due to that, some molecular interaction in the molecular level, there is some tension developed. Molecules have been put apart from each other and due to attractive force, they want to come back. So we are stretching it outward and the molecules trying to come backward to the unstressed, relaxed position. So because of the stretch, there is some inward force that is acting within the molecule and that br brings tension in the strength. So that force, because of the elasticity, because of the elastic nature of the strength, that is called tension. We represent it by T and we say that there is some tension in the strength. It's a contact force and suppose we are applying a force F with our hand, then if you look at the equilibrium condition, the string is not going anywhere. So let's focus on this section of the string and cut it from the whole part and isolate it and let's study this. There is some force F acting towards the right by our hand and there is some tension in the string towards the left like this. The string is not going anywhere. That means the net amount of external force should be zero on the string. Had there been some ex external force, then the string would have been moving. Since it is at rest, so the net force should be zero. That means the tension should be equal to the applied force. So the first thing is the tension in the string will be equal to the external force which is stretching the string. Okay. Next important thing is we have cut a section from here. So let, not, not sh if we cut the section from this position. So previously we cut a section of this size. Now we are cutting a larger size and analyzing it. There is a force F acting on this right hand side. And suppose there is another tension value T dash at this point. Now the string is again not going anywhere. This larger section of the string is at rest. Now the net force on this string should be zero as well. Now right hand side is F. The left hand side tension must also be F. So that means this T dash is also equal to F. That means you cut the string from any point and you analyze the static condition of that string and we'll find that the tension at that point should be equal to the external force. That means the tension throughout the string is same. So there are two important conclusions we draw from here. The tension in the string is equal to the external force and the tension throughout the string is same. So that is tension. An important thing to note here is tension is a restoring force. Because we are stretching the string, so the tension is trying to restore the and oppose us and restore the original position, original condition, relaxed, unstressed condition of the string. Restoring force always acts away from the body. Rest we are stretching it, we have moved the string outwards. So the restoring force will always act inward. So it will be away from our hand. Our hand is pulling it outward. The restoring force will be acting away from our hand and again away from the wall. So in the both the ends, the tension will be acting inwards. So it will be away from both the wall and our hand. It, at these two position, the tension will be inward. We are trying to pull it outward and the tension is bring, trying to unstretch and bring this position inward. So tension 
is a restoring force and because of that it acts away from the body for example suppose there's a block kept on a floor like this and there's a string it's a taut string because we are applying some force by our hand and we are pulling the string because the string is attached to the block so block is also moving whole string block system is moving now at this position you can understand that the string is a inward acting uh, the tension is the inward acting force at this point the block if you analyze the force on the block there is no friction so in the horizontal direction the block is moving only because of tension because tension is acting horizontally on the block so if you look at this block there is some force t we are not looking at the vertical forces because the, there is no motion in vertical direction so horizontally there is no other force there is just tension and if you see tension is acting away from the block it is not acting towards the block it is acting away from the block because tension is a restoring force it always acts away from the body and at in our hand at the at, at our hand if you see if you make the fbd of our hand the hand is applying some force so at this tip of our muscle there is some force in right hand direction and there's some string attached to our hand and a string will be acting left hand side so the net force on our hand will also be zero so the, the acceleration in our hand will not be there it will be moving with constant velocity okay so the point i'm trying to make here is tension is a restoring force the tension is by the virtue of elongation in the string by the stretch of the string so the tension opposes that stretch and try to bring the string in the normal position so tension is a restoring force and all restoring force acts away from the body is it acts inward so tension also acts inward okay so that's the third kind of force we saw and we'll be dealing with them rigorously very shortly